if some Clash Royale cards already give you nightmares, these will keep you awake at night. Welcome fellow fans of Clash Royale. Yes, we are talking about new cards. The Night Witch comes to the game, gives people nightmares, but a lot of people have been sending me crazy ideas for cards that are, well, uh, somewhat disturbing, all right? So let's just take a look at a few of these. Now, we're starting with an old April Fool's joke. Trust me, they get much worse than this. Now, the giant skeleton spawner would be pretty disturbing to see skeletons that size come out of those huge tombstones. But man, you guys have some crazy ideas. Next up, the hand. Now this may be a little bit too dark for the Clash Royale team. Uh, grabs any troop and takes them to the underworld. Uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit uh, spookier than Clash Royale wants to go. But how about the Plague Doctor? So, I don't know you guys, anything dealing with poison, plague, medics, doctors, needles, just kind of gives me the heebie-jeebie, heebie, heebie, -jeebie, heebie -jeebie. you know what I mean, it's creepy. Next up, how about this one, the Elite Goblin, now I chose him partially because of the picture, and then check out the description, this card creator admitting right off the bat, this guy is OP, he is overpowered. Alright, next up, the Crazy King, this guy, I'm not sure what's up with the braces, but not blue, not red, just crazy, he goes crazy on the battlefield and makes troops confused and change teams um yeah it's the eyes that really do it for me with that one okay next up speaking of needles how about the medic stumbles onto the arena with a syringe now the stumbling part also kind of disturbs me is he careless is he drunk what's going on there okay then we've got the mighty couple archer queen barbarian king anytime you talk about bringing those heroes into royale that just straight out scares me so let's move on before we give that one too much thought. Here we go, the Goo Gunner, thanks to Scytho YT or Sitho, I always get your name wrong. But anyway, my buddy, thank you for sending me this picture of the somewhat disturbing Goo Gunner. What, what is the Goo? That's all I need to know. Actually, I don't need to know that. Never mind, do not tweet me what the Goo is. Okay, next up, the Psychologist. Again, the eyes kind of freaking me out. Now, I don't know if you guys knew, Galadon, I've got a degree in psychology. I have a bachelor's degree in psychology, so I don't find psychology scary, but that picture, uh, somewhat disturbing. All right, next up, another good one, the zombies. This will go in the top four, most disturbing. You turn barbarians into zombies, and that's just gross and creepy, and I don't know, I I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead, though. All right, number three in the most disgusting, shocking, gross cards, leeches, just because, well, come on, they're leeches. All right, and then number two, go this one. The virus, level one, the legendary virus, mutated by science, an absolute nightmare in any way you look at it. And then of course, number one, the elite royal giant. Now I'm not sure where the root of this art or idea came from, maybe from Reddit, maybe from my buddy Radical Rosh as well, uh, but the elite royal giant, everybody's worst nightmare in Clash Royale. So I have to say you guys are coming up with these fantastic or fantastically awful ideas. However you look at it, I'm absolutely entertained by your submissions. So please keep them coming in. In the meantime, check out in the description the poll. I want you guys to vote. I will also put this up on Twitter. I want you to vote for the winner, uh, which was the most shocking, uh, disgusting, disturbing, horrifying, whatever you want to call it or just interesting card out of all of the card ideas you saw in today's episode. I will put again the poll out on Twitter. There will be a link, you guys can vote on it and the winner will receive a $25 iTunes or Google Play or Xbox gift card. They get to choose. All right, so again, vote on that and keep those submissions coming in. We are using the same hashtag on Twitter, hashtag made my own legendary. Make sure that you tag your card idea or your post if you send it to me at Galadon Gaming on Twitter. And also remember, you can go to www.clashroyalecardmaker.com. That's the website that makes it super easy for you to create your own realistic looking Clash Royale card. And then you can submit that image to me and perhaps we can get it in a future video and maybe you will end up winning a gift card for it. You never know. So right now we're just taking a look at some nightmare replays. Now I have to tell you guys, I did call it 
a few days ago, actually before, I promise you by the way, before I heard that the Night Witch was being nerfed, I made a video talking about the fact that the Night Witch is going to be nerfed, and it seemed pretty darn obvious that it was going to happen. A lot of people were not so happy about the idea of the Night Witch being nerfed, but you guys have to look. If you look at the history of Clash Royale and of Clash of Clans, it is a pattern of behavior that the game teams have developed. And this pattern of behavior is this. They create a new card, a new troop. It is too strong, it is too powerful, and it ends up being toned down. Now, I hope that this is accidental, uh, because obviously it's exciting to have new cards and new troops added to the game. But also, you get a lot of people who get excited about the card, and either they gem it up in Clash of Clans, that, that troop, they gem it up to a higher level so they can use it, or they gem the card, they spend the money on it so that they can use it, only to have it nerfed in the next balancing update, or the one after that. And again, it's a pattern that we see over and over and over again. And there is a good argument, and the argument I saw in a lot of the comments, and we'll look at some of the comments here at the end of the video, but a lot of people said, these new cards are not really that overpowering, it's that people haven't learned yet how to counter them. And I agree to an extent, I think to an extent, that is true, but it's not completely true. Uh, especially in the case of the Night Witch, I feel like she is just way too strong. The Death Spawn, super, super powerful. And yes, I realize there are other cards out there that have Death Spawns, like the Lava Hound. But the Night Witch is four Elixir. She's only four Elixir and spawns all of these bats that are so fast. It just obviously was something that statistically had to be nerfed. And no, you cannot blame me for the nerf. Just because I made a random video saying that the Night Witch is overpowered, do not do not give me that much credit, okay? A, I don't work for Supercell. B, I did not know that it was coming. And three, it was pretty obvious. I mean, the Night Witch is just way too strong. And you know that these guys over at the Clash Royale team, they determine if a card is going to be nerfed or needs balancing based upon several different factors, and one of which is just pure statistics. These guys are compiling thousands, if not millions, more likely millions of battles using different cards in different decks. And they're looking at the win percentage and loss percentage, and maybe even so far as things like the average amount of damage dealt by each card, and if a card is disproportionately strong or weak, overused, underused, and too many victories, too many losses, then you're almost guaranteed that you're going to see a change to that card in a future balancing update. So that's what we've seen happening to the Night Witch. And I gotta tell you though, it was a blast while it lasted. The Night Witch, the Mirror, the Clone Spell, just so much fun to drop them out there and see so many bats on the battlefield. But I knew it was going to happen, and I, I thought about, I briefly gave it some thought about pushing my Night Witch to level 4 by gemming a ton of super magical chests. I know that there's a couple of players out there that went to level 5 with theirs, and they may have experienced a few wins, but in the long run, it almost never pays off. I would say patience is key, you guys, in Clash Royale and in Clash of Clans, if you see a new troop, a new card that seems too good to be true, it probably is. And that was what we saw in the case of the Night Witch. So RIP, Night Witch's overpoweredness. She's still going to be super strong, but maybe just not quite as strong as before. So on that note, I wanted to check out a couple of viewer comments. I love these. See, speaking of, here we go. X Shadow says, can't you shut up, Galadon? Come on, don't tell Supercell about the Night Witch nerfing again. Not my fault. Blazing Fire says, why haven't the bats been added into Clash Royale yet? That's a good point. I always thought it should have been bats, then Night Witch. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Gang Ready Arnorang says, thanks for showing the meta. I actually have the Night Witch, but thought it had no use at all. Well, there you go. Maybe not the meta for long. And Joseph said, the likes on the video are from people who haven't gotten a Night Witch like me. Well, that could be. They're happy to see the nerf because they never had it. The Real Ninja says, it better be nerfed soon. I didn't buy it from the shop yesterday because I knew it's going to be nerfed. Smart move. And then, unfortunately for Gilbert, spent 40,000 gold to unlock the newly nerfed Night Witch. And then Justin, 
Justin likes the Night Witch, but says the Executioner and Wizard or the Witch and the E-Wiz all shut her down. That's true, the Tornado also. And Poison. And Yaya says she's a legendary card, that's why she's strong. If she's nerfed, she's going to be a normal card. Well, they're not supposed to be overpowering just because they're a legendary card. And then last but not least, it's a me, Mario, appreciating one of my Hog Rider parody videos. At least somebody watched those. Thank you for that. All right, and thank you guys for watching this video and for being here at the very end. You are the hashtag Galafam, and I appreciate you guys very much. I hope that you have a great rest of your day, and I hope that you always remember, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, today's a gift. That's why they call it the present. Love you guys. See you tomorrow. Full attack. Galley Dolls, breaking out the galley philosophy, I say.